This, my friends, is the Digitech Whammy pedal. And with an instrument such as this one, it can make a lot of strange sounds. But with this device called the Whammy Whammer, yeah, it can do some more, even stranger sounds. That's great. Okay, this is the Behringer FCB 1010 MIDI foot controller, which is used to control the Whammy Whammer, which in turn is used to control the Digitech Whammy. So this is all about MIDI connections. And I also got my computer, which in this case will act as a drum machine to do some pretty cool stuff. More about that later. So uh, the Whammy Whammer got three different modes. The normal mode, the vibrato mode and the sequencer mode. Which uh, the third one is the most crazy and it acts a lot like an arpeggiator. But first the normal mode, this is the clean sound. And uh, I can trigger the whammy like this. This is nothing new. I can also use the foot pedal. I can also use uh, this little button here to. Uh, yeah, like, uh, instead of doing this, I can do like this. Alright, that's that mode. And uh, if you do it like in a harmony mode, like this. You can use it to play harmonies with yourself instead of doing like. Which can be a little bit more sloppy. So, now for the fun stuff. This is the vibrato mode. Where uh, you basically get this uh, stuttering crazy vibrato effect and you can adjust the speed by uh, the treble that would sound really cool with distortion so I just throw in some of that You can also adjust the depth, and there's actually a couple of presets with uh, predefined depths and speeds, so we don't have to change on the box unless you want to. So you can go, go from pretty deep and slow. To actually have very fast uh, speeds uh, with just a tiny amount of uh, depth. And right now I'm in the octave up mode, but you can also be in octave down or uh, in the um, one octave up, one octave down and the dry signal mode, which is more like a chorus. And this is probably the coolest effect. This is the... Um, well, this is basically the sequencer mode. This doesn't sound weird. It's because you need a drum machine for this to work. A MIDI clock, which I will so show you very soon. Okay, so now the sequence has started and we can do stuff like this. So it basically just plays an arpeggio 
I just play one note now. And I can press this button to make it major or minor. And this matches the speed of the um, of the um, drum machine. So if I make it go faster like this, you can see what happens. Okay, I got another mode too that's great of chords and this one is only octaves and it's not the same rhythm at the, at, at the same time it's uh, you can match a, latch around with the rhythms and there's 16 presets of this so you can do a lot of cool stuff so let's play the same pattern but with a different speed okay now we got it <laughs> So that is the whammer whammer. <laughs> 